<laughs> Hi guys, for the longest time I've seen so many people posting about their little like Sunday reset routines Their little basically just like reset routines showing what they do when they want to get their life together And as much as I enjoy watching those videos and watching other people talk about their reset routines I have never personally had a reset routine I think it's mainly just because it's kind of daunting to think about doing all of these productive Cleaning things in one day it can kind of like be overwhelming But I think it could potentially be beneficial for me to spend a day or two just getting all that stuff done just like all the little annoying tasks that I always procrastinate feel good about myself have a clean space have a good environment feel good be good Today's video is sponsored by The Lego Group. Something that's really important for me when I'm trying to be productive and get stuff done is getting myself into a flow state. If you don't know what a flow state is, a flow state occurs when someone is completely immersed in a task or activity. So it's like you're all in the activity you're doing. And as you guys know, I've talked about how I struggle with getting into the state a lot of times when I'm trying to be productive because my mind goes everywhere. And something that I personally think is really important when trying to be productive and getting into a flow state is scheduling in breaks because otherwise you're just gonna end up taking a break anyway and it's gonna make you feel like you're being lazy and unproductive and overall it's really important to schedule in breaks so that you can reset rewind and go into the next activity with a clear focused mind there's definitely a lot of things that you can choose to do while you take a break and one of those things that I find myself doing a lot that I kind of want to change but it's like a really hard habit to break is going on my phone because I think that I've kind of gotten out of the flow of like having a fun little hobby but something that I have found that it's actually like really fun to do as like a little break is building lego sets and in my opinion building lego sets is something that's always going to be cool always going to be fun no matter what age you are or no matter what stage of life you're in so what i'm going to be doing is in between all the productive things that i do today i'm going to be taking a little brain break and recharging by building a lego set and this is the one that i'm going to be building today it is the wildflower bouquet lego set and i'm guessing some of you guys have seen this because it's literally all over tiktok and pinterest i have been dreaming about having the set for so long because it is just so iconic if all goes as planned i'm going to be using this to decorate my room and just add a little bit of color and fun to my space specifically this area over here which is a little bit of a mess i know but the point of this video is that we're going to be cleaning so i will be cleaning this but the plan is to like put the flower bouquet here or something i have tried to have real life plants here before but for some reason i just have such a hard time keeping plants alive which is really sad but i think that the wildflower set is going to look really cool here and just add a little bit of color okay i changed because i wanted to be comfy but this is going to be my little building corner over here probably for like the next few days i don't know how long it's going to take me to build this set especially because i'm going to be like doing little brain breaks this is a 1313 piece set and it's 18 plus you know if a lego set is 18 plus that it means business like this is going to take me probably a while to build but it's going to be so worth it i think it's kind of sad how some people think that lego sets are only for little kids and then once you reach a certain age like you're too old or mature for it because they literally have 18 plus sets like these sets are not made for kids Okay, so it's been a little bit and this is what I have so far. I'm so excited about these. Also, what is so cool about this book is it says what type of flower each flower is and then it gives you the history of the flower and it's just so like detailed and cool. I also think this would be perfect if you're super into flowers and the types of flowers. This is just so cool to me. I love that they thought to put in these details and like have the names of the flowers as you literally build them. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take a break from this. Probably come back to it later tonight tomorrow whenever i need a break and i just want to clarify that once i actually get a reset routine in place it will only take a full day but because i'm breaking it up by doing this i got a late start and i'm filming and just like everything takes longer when i film i'm gonna be breaking this up so don't be confused if you like see me wearing a bunch of different outfits or like different hair the first thing that i'm going to be really focusing on is deep cleaning and this is something that should be getting done but like it's not getting done and I am very blessed because my little sister is great. She loves to clean so she does a lot of like sweeping and basic stuff like that and then we both kind of take turns with doing the laundry, washing the sheets, stuff like that but I will say stuff like 
dusting and like actually getting a good deep clean it doesn't happen very often and that's nobody's fault but that being said there's a lot of dust in our room and it's honestly so embarrassing like if i want to find dust like I, I can just reach out and find dust because there's a lot of dust and it's really gross and i was reading something recently about how toxic dust is and how you don't want to have dust in your room and then along with that i'm going to do some sweeping i'm going to clean the mirrors i'm not kidding when i say that these mirrors have not been cleaned in probably a year i don't know if you guys know this but literally for like a year or two i've just always had this pile of things here and i know that the pile will eventually get there but part of the reset routine is resetting this thing here so just finding a home for everything that I have plopped there for the past few months and just like resetting. The next on the list is cleaning up the closet and by this I don't necessarily mean like a full-on closet cleaning out like taking everything out of the closet because I've done that before and it takes days. I'm gonna give you guys a little dust tour if you will. So starting off over here we have <laughs> yeah so this is also embarrassing but there is dust like on my equipment which is just insane we have dust building up on the electrical sockets we have dust building up on the dashboards this is so bad oh my goodness coming over here we have dust on the plant okay and then my desk is not as bad because i try to dust this more often because i like actually see it um but there's definitely some ew okay that's actually so embarrassing oh my word we got dust on the nightstand Okay, so I just finished dusting and I'm gonna go ahead and start sweeping and I wasn't gonna do this But while I was dusting I saw that there's a lot of dust in the corners where like the sweeper attachment couldn't really fit into and it's really gross So I'm gonna get like the skinny end of the sweeper and I'm just gonna go in all these cracks and get the dust And then I might sweep the regular carpet. My sister just kind of did that So it's not really that bad, but it probably should be done again. Also, I don't know. We'll see but I'm basically just gonna do a bunch of sweeping morning guys so it is the next day and my original plan was to get all my cleaning done yesterday so that i could focus on other things today but last night i got so carried away with building the lego set i was just having a lot of fun and also i haven't been feeling the best the past few days like even today i'm feeling a little better but it's just like kind of feeling a little sick headache feeling moody just like not feeling myself so i wasn't really in the mood to film last night but today i'm definitely feeling better i'm kind of like in the christmas period which i know I shouldn't be yet because it's only November but I've just been feeling the Christmas energy and it's been making me feel really happy and energized so this morning I did an everything shower and everything showers I don't do super often maybe like two or three times a month so it's always a good reset for me so the first thing before I went to the gym this morning I put in some of this argan oil into my hair I like massaged it in my roots and then put it kind of like down here and then I did a little slip back braid for the gym which I will say whenever I oil my hair which is usually like once or twice a week I I try 
try to do it before I go to the gym or if I wanted to like a slick back hairstyle because with the oil in there, like my hair is slicked. Wash my hair and then I did a hair mask. I used the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. I used to use this hair mask a lot and then I ran out of it, but I recently got it again and it is really good. Like it makes my hair feel super soft. I let this sit on my hair for 10 minutes in the shower and then while it was sitting, I shaved my legs. And that is always what I do. Like while stuff is sitting in my hair, I will shave my legs. And then after I got out of the shower, I also blow dried my hair. So as you can see, this is not my natural hair. It's like very blow dried. I used the roller brush that you guys always see me using. And I basically just did like the little thing like this. Oh, and I did it while my hair was wet because my hair otherwise would dry kind of like curly wavy. So the main thing that I really need to work on is the closet because the closet is so bad. I'm gonna show you guys in a second. And I know that I've done cleaning my closet with you guys in videos like this before, but it just doesn't stay clean no matter how hard my sister and I try. Our closet doesn't stay clean. It's just so unorganized and we have a lot of clothes, which is such a blessing, but we just don't do the best job at keeping it clean. So I'm gonna try to tidy that up today. And then a few other things on my list as far as like cleaning is I wanna clean the mirrors. I know I talked about that yesterday with you guys, but the mirrors are so bad, like they really need to be cleaned. Other things is I wanna clean my car. I think I mentioned all this in the beginning. I kind of forget what I mentioned yesterday, but just little cleaning stuff like that. And then if I have time, I will go get my nails done later tonight, but I'm gonna first prioritize cleaning. Okay, this is the closet. <laughs> it's honestly not the worst it's ever been, but like, it's pretty bad. So I think the main thing is just utilizing the storage that's here better. So I think I wanna move. Okay, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to like try to get a ladder or something. <gasps> Stop. Oh my goodness. I just found a shirt that I've been looking for for months. <laughs> I feel so dumb. Like, of course it was in here on the floor. Of course. Like, where else was it? And then over here are clothes that, honestly, I don't even know. Half this is my sister's. And then I feel like over here isn't too bad. We just kind of have a lot of clothes. Like, this could probably be organized better. But I think the main thing that really needs to be worked on is this. Clearing up some floor space. I don't really think that I'm going to be, like, getting rid of clothes. Ew, I don't like how you can see me in the mirror. If you guys remember the last time I did this, I made piles on the floor. And I was, like, very much so getting rid of clothes but i did do that recently like i didn't film it or anything but i did get rid of some clothes and i sold some i donated some and i'm sure there's definitely things that i should get rid of like over here i have some pants i have a lot of clothes like this where it's kind of cute i kind of like it i remember wearing it a lot and liking it but then i don't really find myself gravitating towards i don't know what to do because i don't want to get rid of something and then regret it i think that's my main thing but yeah i'm gonna get started Cleaning. I have this robe and I think I'm gonna throw it away because it is so small and it has this little hole in the back. Like I literally have not worn it in like a year. I never wear it, but it's still sad because I don't own a robe and I really want a robe. done cleaning out the closet i'll give you guys a little tour it really doesn't look that much different but it feels so much better and i felt so good to just like go through get rid of some clutter i don't know why i'm hunching this is what we have is it a perfect clean girl closet definitely not but it does look a little bit better i can kind of see where things are which is definitely an improvement next on the agenda is finishing up the cleaning so cleaning the mirrors cleaning the car and for a time reference it is 3 17 so realistically am i going to be able to get everything done and go to the nail salon before the nail salon closes probably not it's possible but i really want to take a lunch slash like lego set building break because i really want to finish up my lego set so i can put it in the corner and just like spice up that space and also I just really want to finish this up because I'm having so much fun building it. We'll see. I don't know I'm just gonna go with the flow and try to not put as much pressure on myself But yeah, I'm going to eat a little lunch 
For some reason, I'm just like not hungry because my stomach's hurting, but I'm gonna try to eat for nutrition. Guys, the flowers are finished I truly had so much fun building this Lego set like this is probably one of my new favorite Lego sets I've done a lot of fun ones in the past but I think this is the favorite one that I built so far and I really want to get the other one because there's another one of these flower sets and I want to do that one too because it's so much fun and like this is pretty like not only was this fun to build but it's also a cute little decor thing for my room and it's like low-key so unique building lego sets is such a great way to unwind relax get into a flow state if you have a lot of stressful things in your mind it's a great way to like i said unwind relax and just kind of get your mind all things have some fun take a little break yeah if you guys are interested in this set or just like checking out the lego group in general you should definitely click the link links in my description thank you once again to the lego group for sponsoring this video and let's get on with the video there's bird proof on my car, which is making me kind of sad. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my little routine that I do. First thing I do is I take care of the trash, and then I dust, and then I sweep, and then I like spray perfume. <laughs> right now and like I can't I can't talk properly right now because I have um teeth whiteners in I'm about to do a little bit of journaling I just thought I would let you guys know I'm like embarrassed like this is like very vulnerable for me but I'm about to do a little bit of journaling because it's kind of part of resetting like journaling is something that's great for resetting I don't do it often enough it's probably been like two weeks since I've journaled and I want to be the type of person that does it every single day but I honestly just forget a lot of the time or I feel like I don't like in my head the stuff I'm doing or the thoughts that are going through my mind aren't important enough to journal which is so not true like this is my journal this should be my safe space um but I have trust issues so I like don't journal that much um anyway I <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and journal I I'm just letting you guys know because like okay Good morning guys, so it is the next morning and I'm about to go get my nails done These are what they are currently looking like and I was debating whether or not to get my nails done in this video Because I feel like resetting a lot of times is more like cleaning and journaling and that type of stuff But for me whenever I get my nails done I feel like a whole new person and I feel like I just got a reset and same with like hair and stuff like that But I'm not gonna be doing that because I want to do a glow up video sometime semi soon And so I want to save all that type of stuff for that type of videos so that you guys don't get the same type of stuff over and over i'm just gonna get my nails done as far as physical things but i feel so much better you guys i don't know how to describe it i don't know if it's like because it's all of a sudden sunny outside and it's been cloudy for the past few days or if it's because i'm doing all these reset things i'm gonna say it's because i'm doing all the reset things it could be a mix but yeah, I need to go inside and get my nails done. I'm just doing a fill-in. So like, I'm just gonna ask them to fill this in and paint it over. So hopefully it won't take too long. And then I'm gonna run over to Target, grab a few things. I think I'm gonna try to grab some snacks and stuff to keep in here as part of just like restocking. Okay. 
Okay guys, I'm back from the nail salon. These are what they look like. I went for a really natural, kind of like natural look. And they look really good. Like the nail tech that did my nails did an amazing job. So this is not on her at all. But I guess I just wasn't careful enough while they were still kind of wet. And somehow they have a bunch of little fuzzies embedded into them. And it's really sad. And I've been trying to pick them off, but they're like not coming off. I don't think you can tell from far away, but up close, there's like a bunch of little fuzzies. I don't know if the camera's even going to pick it up, but in real life, like you can see little fuzzies on these and I don't know how to get rid of them other than just trying to scratch it off um but yeah I think I'm gonna end the video here there's definitely a lot of things that I could do to like reset my life but I think that what I did in this video are things that actually need to be done for me like they're not just for aesthetic I really love watching these videos and I wanted to make one of my own but I just don't want to lie to you guys and like pretend that I have this perfect little reset routine when I actually don't um so yeah I'm a work in progress working on the reset routine but this made me feel so good like first of all the cleaning made me feel so like organized and clean and it felt so good it obviously felt so good to get my nails done i don't know how to describe to you the feeling if you get your nails done you know what i'm talking about but the feeling of just almost feeling like a new person and i don't know if this is weird but i like measure time periods or like eras in my life if you will by my nails so like if i think back on a time in my life i remember what nails i had it's so weird yeah i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video.